everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am so tired. <laughs> this last week, well, since la today is uh, Monday, what is it, the 18th? I have been on a kick since last week of purging. I don't know, I got a burr under my saddle and decided I needed to do some purging, and I have. And there's been two trips to the thrift store already, and tomorrow will be the third one. I have gotten rid of paper. I have gotten rid of journal covers with no guts in them. I picked out the ones that I like the best, and the rest went away. I got rid of buttons. I got rid of bags. I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And yet, <laughs> I sit in here, and I look, and I think, it hardly looks like I did anything. Does anybody else feel like that after you purge? You're like, well, uh... I can't even tell. Uh, the drawers, my Ikea drawers, are closing much better now. Um, my closet, I can actually walk into my closet most of the way, whereas before, I just stood on the outside and waved at my stuff because I couldn't get to it. All right, so while I was doing that, I cleaned out some baskets that I have labeled for, like, watercolor paper, uh, coffee, coffee dyed paper, jelly prints, that kind of stuff. So... I um, found something that I worked on. Oh, I can't remember what year. I, let's see. 2023. I think this was the book that I made for Art Joyous Sharing that we were going to do a journal. So I made this big oversized monstrosity thinking I would fill it up and I'd work on it for a whole year. A uh, no. <laughs> no. So I did work on some of it. I took um, mixed media paper and alternated it. The I think there's nine signatures in here. Either seven or nine. Um, I alternated watercolor paper with regular computer paper. Every other signature. So this is the watercolor side. This is not finished. This is going to be covered up with something else later. I can't bear to look at it. Did this. This I love, 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 love. This needs to be finished. Let's see what else is in here. These are old. I think you guys have seen these before. This is new. This was inspired from... I can need this mat. Um, this was inspired by a Pinterest post that I saw. I was looking for water, very simple, plain, basic watercolor flowers. Found this and made it. This was in here already. I did this to cover up the back of a the back of this because the ink that I used on here bled through to the other side and I covered it up with scraps. So while I was digging around, I found various, I think these are four by four watercolor squares. So I went through and looked at Pinterest for block color flower doodles. So these are just watercolor blocks, and then I doodled over them with a white Signo and, um, what's, I can never remember what the name of this pen is. I love these pens. They are not waterproof. Uniball Air Micro. I love these. They're nice and black and juicy, and if you're never going to add water to something, this is a great pen. Um, so anyway, I found this in my, my watercolor basket. And I decided I would put it in here. I started something. have no idea what my intent was, but I don't care. It's done now. <laughs> so I piddled around with this. And then I went through the basket and found more 4x4 four four sheets. Found another of these um, type, uh, I don't know, they're block colors of watercolor with small little doodles in them. Found this in the basket. It was already cut this shape. I don't know what my intent was, but I like it. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. I made a giant uh, watercolor with fantasy flowers, and I cut them down to 4 by 4 inch squares, thinking I was going to do something else with them. So here we are. Don't know when I painted them. Here's another part of that giant picture. And here is another part of it where these are two squares I glued really close together on this page. I can't even feel the seam. And then this one I discovered when I found in the in the basket, this one belongs on it too. 
These are very loud, obnoxious flowers, <laughs> but I really like them. <laughs> then I found these. Now these make me laugh. I went on an art retreat with some friends in 2018, and um, we were playing around with watercolor, which I was very afraid of. I'm still a little nervous with it, but we did a texture where we did wet on, wet on dry, and then we did a wet on wet, and we did trees. I did trees for both of mine, and I saved these, and I actually did date these. I can't believe I dated them. So here are my efforts at the beginning of the my watercolor adventure. It's been a slow uphill climb. Found this in the basket. Um, it's the, I think I saved it because I was gonna flip it over and use the other side. There were these color blobs on there, so I just made them into flowers and glued it in here. This was an experiment. This, this picture came out of Pinterest and I was testing um, on how to do layer on layer watercolor, where you do very light color and then you add more to it on top of it of the same color. So this was an experiment. And I was also experimenting on different types of watercolor paper. Gina Aaron sent me some watercolor paper I've never used before. And I did a bunch of these type flowers on the watercolor paper to see what it would be like. And all the stuff that she sent me, I really loved. Just love the paper. Found this in there. This is an iCAD. Um, I know I painted this because this is my style. I don't know if it's finished or not, but right now it's finished. <laughs> there we go. And then that leads to this one where I did January the 20th of 2024. I've, I skipped around in it, I think. Yeah, see, it's mostly empty. So I'm going to try occasionally to get over here and get some things in it. All right, so the next part is these books. This is all part of digging through the stuff I was purging. I found this, and I looked at it, and I went, that's really cute. Who made it? Oh, I did. <laughs> I was surprised. I'm like, wow. I made that. You know, sometimes you look back at your old art and you look at it and you think, I did that? Well, this is one of those pieces. So this is my color book series where everything in here is um, mostly blue related. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. I, I really enjoy doing this. I took some of the um, things I learned from Corey Dahman's videos and incorporated them in here and other things that other people have made. I incorporated their ideas into it, sewed plastic together, put a picture inside. This is the same thing. This was a mushroom from fodder school on painty paper and then took it and my sewing machine was having a tantrum. And I don't care, I left it the way it was because I thought it was kind of interesting looking. So here's the blue book. I even sewed lace on a page. I mean, I don't like lacy stuff, but I could not help myself. <laughs> my change, my, my style, and my... I don't know, the way I'm doing things has changed. See, this is another thing along the, the, the same line as this on the front. I don't remember who it was who was showing us how to do these kind of... I don't, I don't know what they're called, but I really liked it. So this, I think, was cut off of part of this. Anywho, so there's all kinds of tags and, and things that just just made me happy to put all the little bits and pieces together and to make um, a book. I had a great time doing this. This definitely occupied my time a lot. A lot. All the different ideas I learned from other um, YouTube artist just made me so happy and I just went to town all over the place look at that glued that on there and this bad boy is glued in there had a great time making weird stuff <laughs> here's more stuff glued is this a pocket no that is glued flat why would we have made it a pocket <laughs> okie doke there's a pocket 
Anyway, so I found this while I was purging and I glued it on the front. I had these books are very plain. I did some color blocking type stuff that people were doing on large sheets of paper and then using them for other things. So I thought, well, I can do that. No biggie. And then I covered books with it. So there's the blue one. The next one is the pink one. And this is one of the watercolors, the 4x4 squares that I found. I found a rubber band around a bunch of 4x4 squares that I had already painted. So I took it out. I painted this on 220, 221 of, of 21. So there's the pink book. I, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> so here's all the little cool stuff inside the pink book. I had all kinds of miscellaneous pink stuff, and pink is not one of my favorite colors. But I managed to amass a lot of stuff. That's vellum envelope that's sewed. This is a paper clip, a double-sided paper clip. Um, anyway, so uh, just a quickie, quickie flip through right here. Look at this. I must have been on a plastic sewing kick. Because <laughs> every one of these pockets has something encased in a plastic piece. Oh, what is this plastic? I, I don't remember where I got that idea from, but I like it. I still like that idea. There's a tag I made where I did... I don't know. Was this an iCAD thing? Where, yeah. This might have been iCAD, and I did... 61 tags, if I remember correctly, a couple years ago. Does this have the magnet? Yeah. I like the magnets. Just because I like doing this. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> Here's another iCAD. I had so much fun doing those. I don't think I'll ever do it again, but I had a good time. I did some embossing which I don't do that much of anymore. Stamped and colored. I mean, I had a great time. Oh, look, this is in those little fake picture frame, frame things. I had a thinlet that does a large Polaroid and a small Polaroid, and here's more stuff in plastic. Uh, <laughs> the theme of the year must have been plastic sewing. Oh my God, there's more. <laughs> I just, oh, look, <laughs> there's even more. <laughs> Oh, looky here, it's a bonus. <laughs> I must have been on a tear with the plastic. So I glued this on the front because it didn't have anything on it. All right, here's the orange book. I painted this one on 624 2020. All right, let me tell you about the 4x4s. The reason these are cut on a 4x4 is because I followed Ellen Crimmy Trent, who is a watercolorist and a painter, and she was doing... Oh, it used to be some mini Mondays. I think that was what it was called. So every Monday we had a 4x4 or 3x3 three three square, and then we would do these little mini um, watercolor paintings. I don't watercolor paint, but I sure had a wonderful time doing those. That's where all these 4x4s came from. Oh, don't tell me there's plastic stuff in here. <laughs> I'm going to flip out. I see plastic thrown in here, little things. Ooh. <laughs> nope. A lot of stuff in half flower pockets. These are stickers that are still intact. There's another, is that one of those iCAD ones? No. I found some um, old timey botanicals. I was looking for things to make things yellow. Oh, this kind of matches that other thing in the, the other book, the first book I showed you. This is the same type style. I must have painted them all that same day. <laughs> B for butterfly. Somebody gave me a ton of butterflies. So I cut them. I put them in a little mini Polaroid thinlet cutout thing. And just did everything with butterflies. There's B for bees. Uh-oh. No, that's not plastic. <laughs> it's going to be like, oh, no, oh, no. Envelopes. Is this a... Is it? No, this one's just weighted. It's heavy. Okay. I, people gave me the coolest stuff. I found vintage things online that were free from one of those. No trademark. No... Uh-oh, here's a plastic one. See? I was on a tear. Eh. 
another bee, another pocket with G curves, little hearts. I just had such a wonderful time making this. I forgot how fun this was. I was so focused on doing this that I, every time I looked at a magazine or an article or something, I was looking for something that had orange in it so I could do my orange book. So this is the painting I painted for the orange book. Well, that's on the orange book. Then we have the pink book. And this one has a, one, another one of those small painting uh, watercolor paintings that I did. I can't believe this is watercolor, but it is. It's so pretty. This is my purple book, vellum envelope. I think there's something in there, but it's so tight I can't get it out. Another envelope. Lots of envelopes, lots of belly bands. Lots of these trifold pockets where you did one pocket on top of the other, on top of the other, and then you make the back part when you glue it on a pocket. These, I like doing these. These are fun. Look at that. That's a, journal, a place you can journal. It just slides on the brad. Has this got a magnet? It's got a magnet! Yay! <laughs> Ding! And then took scraps of uh, coffee paper and made little tiny scrapbooks, notepads. I drew this and painted it. Just used some random uh, scrapbook paper, sewed it all in. Look, you can even see the back. It's some, I don't know, some, is it a Tim Holtzy thing? I don't know what it is. Scrapbook paper something, I guess. More belly bands with these really cool fake envelopes. These were a lot of fun. These are made out of old recipes that I coffee dyed from when I was a personal chef. I took some of the old recipes that I had. I saved the paper. I couldn't bear to part with it. So then I coffee dyed them and made them into little mini envelopes for this. These were a lot of fun. I did a whole bunch of them. There's another one. They were fun. They were so much fun. And then there's two more down below and the belly band with all that stuff just like on that blue book. That must have been something I had just learned. <laughs> I was wearing it out. Then there's a vellum envelope and it's got stuff inside it. Another double paper clip. What's this? Oh, this is the stuff I made out of um, photo paper when I used uh, acrylic paint on photo papers and jelly paint printed on them. Then I doodled over the photo paper and then cut them out and glued them onto the tags. Just so much fun doing all this stuff. And it's only been a few years since I finished it. It kept me, I guess this kept me busy during um, the pandemic. Is this a pocket? Oh, it sure is. And I just glued this in the background. There's another of those things I learned from Corey Dahman. More sewing. Oh, look, more lace. What? What? I did a flip through of these when I finished them before, but I just, you know, when you start purging stuff, you don't make much progress because you have to sit down and look at all the old stuff and go, oh, yeah, I remember that. All right, this is the last of the colored book series. This is a painting that I did um, on another day with Ellen Crimmy Trent. This was May the 21st, 2020. I actually dated something. So I thought these would look nice on the front of my books. Uh-oh, more plastic with <laughs> something sewn inside it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, there's more. I saw them. Oh, no, here's another one. <laughs> Boy, when I get a hold of something, I'm like a dog with a bone. All right. Here's more. They're just envelopes and little folded up stuff, little paper pads. I used a bunch of scraps that I had in certain colors. And my friend Peg Robinson sent me this. It was, I think it was part of a magazine or something that had fairies in it. So I thought I would take the majority of the fairies and put them in the book. This, oh, it's coming unglued here. 
so I took, because they, they had a little green in all of them, so I took them and used them for different things. I think I need to glue this back down again. And here's another one right here, and another one, which I think is close to, no, maybe not. All right, there's that guy. And then inside here, this is, uh, this is not computer paper, it's some other kind of paper. I don't know if it's a rice paper, what it is. Oh, it's um, like a mulberry paper. And there's, I found a little saying in that, put that in there, it looked very grassy and green. Did tea, a, a tea bag paper clip. This one's really old, I've had this one a long time. I'm finally glad it's got a home. Glad it's finally got a home. More leaves, paint, leaf painting from fodder school. All kinds of things. I mean, I took every weird thing that I had that was laying around the house that had green on it, and I used it. This is Korean, part of a Korean book, I think. What's this? Is this going to come out? Come on, come on! Oh, again, it doesn't matter how small your scraps are. You can make something. You can make something out of them. Look at that. Little tiny scraps of coffee paper. They're so skinny, but I just thought it was so cute. I did a little teeny picture from fodder school, cut it out, glued it on there. Who knew I was going to use all this stuff? I had no earthly idea. These are just um, stamps that I had of butterflies. I put them on green. I think this is uh, some kind of green cardstock. Or maybe it was paper that I painted because I see it's white on the back. It might have been something that I painted around the edges. And then this is just a, a library pocket type thing somebody gave to me. I didn't make that. Again, stamps I had, I just stamped on old world paper. Look at this. I love these fairies look, sprites and fairies look awesome. I love these. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to talk about purging and, and all the things that you find from the past. And you're like, oh, did I do that? Oh, it's got my name on it. Oh, look. <laughs> Here we go. One more. <laughs> One more for the road. So I just thought I would go through these real quick. Oh, my word. There's a whole bunch more in the back. Oh, I went crazy. Look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. I really did go gaga over this method, didn't I? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got a little carried away. Actually, a lot carried away. And here's a mushroom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all, that's it. We got the green, the pink, the orange. Oh, no. The green, the purple, the orange. Here's the pink. Oh, my God, about There's the pink. And then there's the blue. And that's all from looking through papers that were in my... Um, in the scrap watercolor box, this one wasn't. This was in some of the scrap paper box. But the rest of those are scrap watercolor squares that I had laying around in a basket. Put stuff in this book for the same thing. So y'all be careful when you purge. <laughs> it gets a little tricky. All right, guys. I will see you next time in a video. Everybody be good. Bye.